Hi there, Jen Roke here at StampCampWithJen.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Summerfield, Florida, and welcome to today's crafting video. Before we get started, I wanted to share this fun opportunity with you. I will be hosting a virtual holiday catalog party on my Facebook page. It is in a private Facebook group, so you'll need to go to this link right down here and ask permission to join. And once you're in, you will be part of the party, which is gonna be from 20 to 24 July. Um, we'll have various posts throughout the day and I will have an important pre-party video where I will show the prizes that will be offered as well as explain how um, the drawings and the games and things will work so I hope you can join me um, what's great about this party is you don't have to be on there live with me you can you know check in at the end of the day if you're busy and kind of go through the different party posts and I'll explain more about that in the video so if you get a chance and you're on Facebook please look me up at my party group and ask to join I'd love to have you and I hope you join us okay another thing that I have available for the party this is completely optional but I do have party presents that are available for purchase um, they're $35 and they're $750 priority shipping if you need them shipped or if you're local and you can pick them up you can save on the shipping and just pay the $35 I do have a limited quantity available so reserve them now if that's something that you're interested in um, they will include the card kits that I'll be using for my live stamping demonstrations they will have bingo cards the actual physical bingo cards if you want to play bingo but you don't want to purchase the party present you'll still be able to play bingo I will send you a link for you to print them on your own at home so don't worry about that um, in the kit you'll also get a liquid glue bottle a wink of Stella pen and some surprise gifts and then if you're one of my team members you'll get an additional embellishment so if you'd like to reserve those please send me an email here and let me know that you want a party present and you can either send me a check in the mail or I can send you an invoice for payment with your credit card okay all right so that's enough about that but that's an exciting party I'm really excited about it and I hope you can join me all right so for today's project you've probably seen one of these this is called a pinwheel tower card and this actually uses some new paper from the upcoming celebration brochure it's very pretty I love this paper um, so we are actually using the rings of love paper this paper is going to be free I can't show you inside oh excuse me inside just yet but this will be free during celebration um, this paper here, it's Rings of Love. This is the paper we're using. And I'll kind of show you some more. I think I showed you all except for this one sheet. There's also this sheet with the little houses on it. And it has these little medallions on the back. Very, very pretty. Okay, so that's all in that rings of love and that'll be free with a $50 purchase during celebration okay now the sentiment that we're using is from the cheerful basket stamp set I love this stamp set so much and I thought this was a cute little sentiment to go in there so we're gonna go ahead and do that so I have my card kit here we have a four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch base and all the measurements are at stampcampwithjen.com so you don't have to worry about writing them down right now the little sentiment strip here that you can see is one inch by two and a half inches. And then I have these four panels here. So I have this little panel so you can write a message on the inside, but if you don't wanna write a message, you could just cut another one of these pieces here. Um, I ran out of the tree branches, so I decided to use the little uh, rings of the wood stumps there so that's why I have a couple different patterns but you can really mix it up however you want so I have four of these panels here and then I have the four panels for the card on the inside and the flowers and the birds and then the back side you could always flip it around if you wanted these but that's the back side of some of these panels so it's a very pretty paper and then we have four mint macaron panels that we're gonna go ahead and adhere those to. But before we do that, I wanna show you how I scored the pinwheel tower base. So we're gonna get, I'm gonna take these off real quick so you're not confused here. We're gonna take our Simply Scored scoring tool. And we're just, it's an even square. It's four and a quarter by four and a quarter. 
and we're just gonna take our score here and we're gonna score at one inch, two inches, three inches, and four inches, okay? And that's all the scoring that's involved in this card. And then we're gonna take our base and we're just gonna fold it. And if I had a bone folder next to me, I would burnish it, but I left that and I left my tear and tape out. I'm gonna have to grab some tear and tape here in a second. All right, so we're gonna grab a new tear and tape here. All right, and then to put this together, all I'm gonna do is grab my tear and tape, all my tools. There we go, we're gonna grab that tear and tape and it fits perfectly on this little quarter inch piece right here. We're just gonna tear that off. Oops. That's okay, if it goes over a little bit, I'll just fold it backwards here. So see, I have a little bit of tear and tape that went off, but that's okay, we're just gonna use our finger to kind of flick it back there. So now the easiest way I found to close this is to fold over this first section here, and then the end section, you're just gonna fold it right on top, and it's scored the exact same distance that it will make that perfect cube just like that so that's the easiest way for me to secure that in place okay so we're going to put that aside for right now and we're going to go ahead and adhere our little panels all to our paper and hopefully i don't run out of stamp and seal i might i just realized and you just center these on your panels here really quick and easy it is a little different when you put it together so it kind of messes with people because they think they should lay it out a certain way but I'm going to show you exactly how to put it together and once you know how to do that it's so so easy and this card comes together in a flash I just love it this won't be a long project at all and the one thing you want to keep in mind with this card is because it's kind of bulky with all the layers. You don't want to put any um, embellishments like rhinestones or ribbon and you don't want to really pop anything up on it because if you do it's going to become way too bulky to mail and you don't want that. Okay so we have those four panels. We'll set those aside and we'll go ahead and do our stamping on our sentiment here with that Poppy Parade ink. I love that color matches so well with this set too, with this paper. Fill my day with happiness. And these photopolymer stamps, you can see right through there. Perfect, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna that to the side, and now I'm just gonna take a little bit of seal on the back here. And I really liked it on the acorn piece so it fits right in between the edges of the DSP so you just center it between the edges of the designer series paper there just like that okay now to put this together this is the easiest way I found here so I'm gonna fold this base in half so you can kind of see there's a score line right in the middle here right so on the left hand side is where we're going to line this up on our card base. So I'm going to put some seal here and then right where that score is, right in the middle, I'm going to attach this left hand side of this panel right along that score line, okay? So we're just going to put a couple strips of seal right here and then I'm going to line it up right along those score lines there and press, okay? And then what you wanna do, you wanna flip that over. Two more little lines of seal. And then again, just lining that up along the score line, press. 
What I had a lot of people, and don't do this, but what a lot of people in class kept wanting to do was put them side by side like this. You will never attach the right side. Always the left side will be attached to this, okay? So if you're attaching the right side, that is wrong. Do not attach that right side. You always wanna do the left side there. So, and then I'm just gonna flip that over. Some more seal here. Line that up along that score line. Flip that over again. Well, I can't really flip that over, so I'm just gonna leave that there. It's a little hard once you get to the end to flip it and do it. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put it right along. So again, using that left edge, okay? And that is how you have that piece. So I'm gonna put, I gotta fill my seal up here. I just ran out. change out our seal and then we're gonna put our other little panel so what I did with the piece that has the sentiment I put that white section there so you could write your little message to the recipient just like that so we're gonna do that here like I said it's very simple I didn't add a lot of embellishments or anything crazy because you really can't, especially if you're gonna mail this. I'll flip that down and we'll do our paper here. Just like that. And we'll flip the next section down. Put this down. And I am literally almost done with this card. You saw how quick and easy that was to put together right here. This last panel and we will be done. And like I said, you could add more um, words if you wanted to. I tried to keep this pretty simple. I was really more focused on teaching my stamp camp class members how to put this together, but isn't that so cool? I just love it. And it folds flat and you can put it right inside an envelope just like that to mail out to somebody. Isn't that perfect? Oh, I just love it. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget, celebration will begin on July 1st. That is in two weeks from today, if you're watching this the day the video came out. So Friday, July 1st, and it ends on August 31st, okay? And also, don't forget to join my holiday catalog party. I would love it if you join us. We're going to have a lot of fun. I have a lot of great games and prizes and stamping presentations. We're going to have a lot of fun. And then if you're interested, I also have these holiday party presents available as well, okay? So you can always find all the details at stampcampwithjen.com. And my name is Jennifer Roke. If you need any of the supplies for today's video, please purchase them in my online store at stampinup.com and shop with me. Um, I would really appreciate your business, especially if you're looking for a new demonstrator or maybe you don't have a demonstrator. I would love to earn your business, okay? All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I always love to know what you guys think about my projects, okay? Well, until next time, be safe and happy stamping. Bye-bye.